Jones. It's Donna. Donna? I've been trying to get a hold of their dad. Are the girls with you? I, I don't know where they are. No one's answering. Half the lines are disconnected. I, I, I've been looking for them. Me too. God, I hope they're okay. I, I, I talked to Dominic earlier, but there was, there was screaming. Christ, it was horrible. I don't know if it was him or who, but God, Michonne, he sounded so scared. The girls too, crying and crying. I couldn't stand it. Poor thing, they must be terrified. Why the hell didn't he call me, Donna? He tried, Michonne. He said he couldn't get through. We have to find them. They could be anywhere. And if we can't get a hold of them, I, I don't... Where do we... I'm going to keep searching here. Hey, hey, what are you... Oh, oh, please, Donna! Donna, get out of there now! Donna! Who's Donna? Right here. I won't come a step closer, okay? We don't... We don't have a lot of time. Where did everyone go? People came through here. Police, army, I don't know, evacuated the building. Look, we really can't be here, okay? They'll find us. How long ago did they evacuate? couple of hours just missed them if they made it out no who were you talking to You were talking to yourself. You okay? I do that sometimes. <laughs> hey, I get that. These days we're all a bit off. John, he... he went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right, while I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Their brother's dead, sister's shot. I mean, fuck, right? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried. Doesn't matter now. No, I guess not. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. That patch of dirt, his mom's buried there. The ear is so back, she just... She was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. If 
she couldn't handle it, I guess. I never understood that. Sometimes this world is too much for people. Sometimes? You mean all the time. It wasn't for Sam. No. Oh, Grace. I just need more time. More. No. No. I'm here, Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Let me up. Just stay down, Sam. Go back to sleep, Sam. But... You need rest. Sam. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. You try to protect everyone, you end up protecting no one. Better than not trying at all. You'd be crazy to stay here, John. This woman normally will... There's no decision to be made on this. I need a word with you. In private. Do you have children? A son? I do. Two little girls. <sighs> it snowed the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. Erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids. But the past... It always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from home. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. You've got a good thing going here. Safe house. Nice family. It's more rare than you know. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things. Did he? 
Are those whatever they are? Yeah, yeah, he did. My boy, I should have never let him leave. I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You... you're right. I'm all they have. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Take the one near the garden. Dead yet. Uh, uh, you?
must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? Caught yourself a golden goose. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Now why would I do a thing like that? Does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing a neighborly knock on your door right about now. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michelle. Don't make the same mistake again. You heard her. Randall needs to check in. You know, this feels mighty familiar. Except you're there. And I'm here. So, Miss Shum, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Call off your sister, or I break every bone in your hand. I'll play nice. Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. But Miss Schoen here is mighty upset. She wants me to call you off. What? Yeah, I know. So you probably shouldn't head for a house. Hey! I wasn't finished yet. I was doing what you said, Miss Schoen. Hello, Norma. Michelle. Did you hurt him? You so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! Know any good surgeons? I want to look into that. Bitch! This little game you're playing, I don't fucking like it. We'll be there soon. This alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. Guess I hit a button. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. We got a big hole there now. Michonne? Is that true? <laughs> Please tell me he's fucking with us. Sam, I'm... I'm sorry. No! 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 James! If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now! 
All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. I ain't had the bell of the bar. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You're right about that. Feels good to get that out in the open, don't it? Well, maybe, maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit. Every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. If you got a point, get to it already. On my way, darling. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. Or dying, or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of the world. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart.